When talking about numeric literals, what I mean are any numbers that are literally written out and represent exactly what they mean. So one zero really means the integer 10. And what is not obvious is that the integer 10 is actually a data type by default. And let's see what data type that is. Here I have a data type long and its variable name is converted and I'm assigning it to 10. And I say that a conversion is happening, but let's see if there's any problem when I run it. No, there's no problem. It has run, but there was a conversion that did happen. And what the conversion that is happening is, is that 10 is actually an int and it's moving into the data type long. It's making a widening conversion. And no typecast is necessary in order to take that int 10 and move it into a long. And what I want you to know, and what's important from this, is that any time you see an integer or something without any decimals, it is going to be of the data type int by default. And let me prove this to you in the next slide. So what I've done is I've taken the highest value that an integer can hold and that is around 2.1 billion. And I've stored it as a long. And as I said earlier, all integer literal values are data type int by default. So therefore, there shouldn't be a problem running this. And there's not, it would print the highest value possible. Now let's say that I added one more to it, and instead of seven at the end, I added an eight there. Would this run? Actually, it would not because it is out of the range of integers. It's in the range of long, but it's out of the range of integers. So I somehow have to tell the computer, hey, this literal here, I don't want it to represent an integer anymore. I want it to represent a long. So what I have to add to the end is an L. And it can be a capital or lowercase L, but a lowercase L in a lot of cases looks like a one. So you want to be careful of that. And usually it's better practice just to add a capital L to the end. Then the computer knows that this is no longer an integer literal, which is what it would be by default, but rather it's a long literal. And the long can store significantly more than an integer can. And there would be no conversion here because the literal on the right is of the data type long and it would print out just fine as it does below in the output. Now, let's say that we wanted to go the other way. Instead of making a widening conversion, an int into a long, what if I wanted to make a narrowing conversion, an int into a byte or a short? Would it work? Well, yes, it would. And these are actually an exception to the rule. The rule is anytime you're making a narrowing conversion, that is taking a larger data type and moving it into a smaller data type, you normally are required to put a cast in front of it. But this is just not necessary when you're dealing with literals. Although 10 and 10 represent integer literals, no cast is required in order to make them into a byte or a short. Now this is true up to a point. What happens if we go out of the range of what a byte or a short can be converted into? The range of a byte is negative 128 to positive 127. Well, we know that 1 million cannot be forced into that range or it cannot be forced into the range of a short. So what would happen if we tried to run this right here? Well, it would give us an error and it would give us a precision error saying that we're trying to take too large of a number and shove it into a byte or a short. And if we wanted to do this, we could, but it would require a typecast and it would lop off bits. It probably give us an improper number. Just as a side note here, Java does not support short and or byte literals. So you couldn't put an S at the end or a B at the end to indicate, hey, this is a byte literal or this is a short literal. Next, we're done talking about integers and let's talk about real numbers. What if I had a real number like 123.456? Is that within the range of a float? Absolutely, but I have the word converted there. So let's see if conversion is happening. Yes, a conversion is actually happening and this would produce an error. And you might think this odd, but just as non-decimal numeric values are represented as ints, decimal values or real numbers, their literals are represented as doubles. So it's important to note all real literal values are of the data type double. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to take a double 
which is twice as large as a float, and we're making a narrowing conversion. Well, we can't do this, or if we want to do this, we have to typecast it. Although this looks like it would work, it doesn't work in reality because we're taking a double and trying to store it as a float. There is a way around this though. Instead of typecasting, what we can do is we can add an F to the end of the value. And you can probably guess what it's doing. So just like adding an L to an integer literal makes it a long literal, adding an F changes it from a double literal into a float literal. And now there is no conversion happening because the number on the right is a float value and the value converted can hold a float value because that's what data type it is. And so when we run this, we would get 123.456 without any problems. Lastly, you can represent a real number as a double by adding a D at the end. And so the output would be 123.456, and you wouldn't see that D anywhere. Sometimes conversions are necessary, and you might not even realize that they're happening. When you type a number into a program or hard code a number like the number 10, it's going to assume that it is an int data type by default. And so all integer literals are int by default. If an L is added at the end, and it could be lowercase or uppercase, but remember, you want to stay away from lowercase L because it kind of looks like a 1. So an uppercase L at the end, it is no longer treated as an int data type, but as a long data type. Java does not support short and byte literals, so you can't add a B or an S at the end of a value. This does cause an exception to the rule that if you're taking a larger data type like an int and converting it into a smaller data type, you do not have to have a cast in front of it as long as the value fits within the range. So if I put 10 into a byte, although I'm making a narrowing conversion, I do not have to have a cast in front of it if it is a literal. But if the number is too large, it's simply just not going to work. All int literals are of the data type int, and all real literals are of the data type double. And if you want to change the data type from a double into a float, all you have to do is add the letter F at the end. It could be capital or lowercase. All numeric literals do not require a cast when converting into other numeric data types. Be sure to know that when you type a numeric literal into a program, Java is going to assign it a value if it's an integer, it's going to be of the data type int, and if it's a real number, it's going to be of the data type double. And be aware that if you use other data types, it is making a conversion when you use those different types.